mutual understanding. What does it mean to you? Today, I'd like to talk about why mutual understanding is important to human beings and how to achieve it by using examples of tea and Japanese tea ceremony. 24 years ago, I worked for the Japanese embassy in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I interpreted a Japanese Arabic meeting between the Prime Minister of Japan and the Saudi Crown Prince. At that time, I was young, so my hair was black, not like this gray hair. <laughs> I was so nervous that I made several grammatical mistakes. But thankfully, the meeting itself was successful. However, behind the scene, there was a problem. The Prime Minister of Japan was forced to wait for a long time at a luxurious hotel provided by the government of Saudi Arabia. He is the Prime Minister. He is just waiting here, a little impolite. But there was a misunderstanding and culture gap. Japanese people value punctuality and well-organized schedules. Sometimes it's too much. <laughs> By contrast, Saudis put a high value on treating people warm-heartedly. Punctuality is not a high priority. I was ignorant. As everybody knows, Saudi Arabia is an Islamic country where the Prophet Muhammad was born. People pray five times a day. During the Ramadan month, they fast and try to consider situations of poor people and purify themselves. Rich people donate to the poor. But not only Muslims, but also many other people donate a lot of money to the poor. There are many things which people have in common. Three years before that, I was in Cairo, Egypt. At that time, I lived with an Egyptian family to study Arabic language and Arabic culture. One night, when I was returning to the apartment where I was staying, very dark, I tripped over something. What is it? There was a housemaid sleeping in the corridor. Her name was Swad. She was about 50 years old. She was born in a poor village near Cairo. She was too poor to go to school. She couldn't read and write. She was illiterate. She came to Cairo to work for that family. She worked 15 hours a day with no holiday. Amazing. There was no room for her, no space to sleep. What a miserable situation. However, she never complained about the situation. She was always cheerful, smiling at me, very kind to me, and honest and sincere. She has a lot of characteristics with the person of character. 
actually she's a woman of character. Two years after that, I was in Cambridge, United Kingdom. I had a chance to study sociology and politics at the University of Cambridge. Almost every day, I had dinner with teachers and students from many countries. I discussed various issues. When I sat with a mathematician from Mexico, for example, I need to study mathematics and Mexican culture. When I was with a Nigerian, I needed to study beforehand history of Nigeria. At the University of Cambridge, I realized that there were many things which I didn't know. I came to understand that I didn't know anything. I should be humble, very humble. Currently, there are many conflicts among ethnic groups, countries, and religions. They are caused by a lack of mutual understanding. Don't you think so? We, global citizens, should overcome these difficulties through mutual understanding. Everybody, time has come. If we overcome these difficulties, what will happen? Will we enjoy a more peaceful life? Because we don't have to worry about conflicts. We will enjoy a more prosperous life because people cooperate with each other for economic growth. We will enjoy a more innovative life because people make use of various ideas or opinions from many countries. So ladies and gentlemen, how do we understand each other? How can mutual understanding make us better people? Reading books, traveling a lot, watching movies? Yes, definitely. I've read about 20,000 books since I was born and traveling around 100 countries. And I like movies. I watch 100 movies a year. This helps a lot. I recommend these activities. In addition, today, I like to present two other approaches related to tea and Japanese tea ceremony. Is anybody who have never drunk tea? Raise your hand here. Maybe not. Tea is the most widely spread drink on Earth. The first approach is holding international tea party. Recently, my friends and I held international tea party asking people from various backgrounds to bring their own type of tea. Each attendant explained how people serve tea and then really served tea. He is from Morocco. In Morocco, people fill their glasses and pour them out. Fill their glasses and pour them out. Fill their glasses and pour them out. Three times. Do you know why? Because People want to keep teacups warm for their guests. They are from Iran. He is from Bangladesh. He is from Vietnam. 
she's from Mongolia. In Mongolia, people use milk a lot. She explains French tea and sweets and Japan. Even though there are several differences in ingredients and proceedings, there are many similarities. Every culture uses tea to host guests warmly. Every culture uses tea to make people relaxed and peaceful. Every culture uses tea to make people healthy. The party was successful. Tea combines people from many countries. This helps mutual understanding. So everybody, hold tea party. It's not difficult at all. Ask your international friends. Bring their own type of tea and serve them. I'm sure you learn a lot. The second approach is attending Japanese tea ceremony. Japanese tea ceremony has developed for about 500 years. Kyoto here is the center of Japanese tea ceremony. When we enter a tea ceremony room from a small gate called Nijiriguchi, this side, we need to bow and enter. We need to put everything outside. Money, bags, weapons, of course, and even jealousy and prejudice. Do you know why? Because at the tea ceremony room, we should be humble and respect each other as a person not as a social position or nationality. The tea masters always consider what guests want and what trouble they face. If you attend a Japanese tea ceremony, you become humble and respect each other. Back to the opening story. If the, the two important sides can humble themselves, they will find a mutual understanding. We all can. Everybody, be humble, realize different cultures, be humble, find a mutual understanding, be humble, be a global citizen. I'd like to end this speech by bowing. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>